Hey fellas. Oh. Well, by the time you see this, it will be Labor Day to all viewers who is in North America. So, as I pointed out before, here is my more detailed hell reaction to the you know, the Mario Brothers 3 Fire Direct that finally streamed at the beginning of this month. I mean, even though I usually tend to wait for rumors to be verified before I address them, in this case, the rumors are true of many Mario announcements for this coming year here, so let's get this started. Okay, starting off is definitely an interesting an item on our list. I mean, a limited edition Game & Watch uh, to commemorate the series, which not only plays the original Mario game and Lost Levels, but also has a Mario variation of the, the classic ball minigame game on the system. So, even though I'm not kind of planning on picking any of that one, personally, I think it's actually kind of neat that to see and do something like this and so that kind of watch. Uh, it's like something, a little piece of the history predates the Game Boy even, in terms of the handheld systems, I mean, as I mentioned before. Or so, that is coming out November 13th, whoever wants it, and there will be more to discuss in the next cut. And yeah, and while admittedly they did put a disclaimer at the front of the video saying that some of the stuff is going to be potentially delayed, I'm glad that for this one, let me know up front because another her one um, that was excellently talked about. In fact, it's probably one of the worst kept series of the Wii U ports that have the console. Yes, folks. Super Mario 3D will be coming to Switch in February 2021. I'm, I'm, I believe that one was going to be another one of the holiday titles I had in mind. And, but. Be as it may, now that they're given how the head to rework that, that, that I'm actually kind of glad yeah, that, yeah, that they're doing this, especially given how the new mode is going to be unique to this version, Bowser's Fury, Fury, which even though oh, the exact details have yet to be fully revealed, I am very much looking forward to seeing what this new mode brings to an already a great game, so I'm most likely going to be picking this one up when it comes out in February 2021. Of course, one of my having multiple versions of that title. I mean, and it's not going to be the first time, nor the last, most likely. So it's like they're really leaning into the whole whole anniversary aspect of this as. And it's given how, while I have not been taking active part in what's going on with the Fortnite situation, and I've just instead been searching alternatives, so it says this one if you have a Switch, starting out with the first and going through March 2021, on 31st to be precise, is if you have an Nintendo Switch Online account, you'll be able to play a unique take on. The beloved NES classic, Super Mario Bros. 35, a Mario themed Battle Royale title, title in which you and 34 other, other players are trying to get to the top. I mean, I think if anything, it builds on the battle modes it had in previous Mario titles, which, heck, I'm to remember that kind of multiplayer stuff in Mario Bros. 3, so. I think I ain't got to be opting in this one to get a chance to and play with it for uh, until hell, it ends in March 2021. Again, not really into the Battle Royale style of gameplay. I tried PUBG here because of, briefly because it was one of my VPS singing this month. I emphasize very briefly because it wasn't my particular bag, but this one might be. So let's keep going. Yeah. yeah and also, here's another tie-in. Like, there's the, have a lot of other merches there. Anything from apparel to crossover other games, such as Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Splatoon. Who's, I'm looking forward to Splatfest in January, just in time for my 29th birthday. Imagine that. 
But as it turns out, now this doesn't tell us entirely new experience. It's not a full on uh, Mario Kart 9 just yet, but I think this might be fun nonetheless. Mario Kart Live Home Tour, which combines a video game, RC cars, and an AR game in racing, which basically your entire house becomes um, it's like the racetrack of your carts, I mean. I guess it's the next logical step of, say, the cat ads being, being bowed up by slot car racers and laser pointers as well, I mean. So, I definitely think this might be, this might be fun on, on to check out. So, oh, I definitely, I also think a nice little connection to the early days of Toymaker, I mean, since decades before they started making video games, before decades before those even existed, they were a toy maker. So this actually makes quite a bit of sense to me. Hey, so I'm gonna keep this going. Yep. And yep. Another little tidbit. It's I mean before I get into this this one. On top of another Smash Brothers tournament, Center on Mario characters and stages coming. And another title came to the a Super Nintendo Online, part of Nintendo Switch Online, Super Mario All Stars on the Switch, I mean the previous you know, Mario Anniversary Collection, which they released way back Super Nintendo era, and also previously even saw another release for the 25th anniversary on the Nintendo Wii, he, which I have laying around here somewhere still. Oh, that's just amazing how in any form these games can stand the test of time. I'm even as technology changes through the years, good gameplay can last forever, I mean, ever. And this, the original three titles was Lost Souls, no exception. Of course, of course, whether you're playing on the original Nintendo, the Famicom, or Super Nintendo, the original uh, Mario, Her Brothers, and Mario Brothers 3, honestly no introduction yet, I would gladly he he talk about them anyway. Hey, since as a friend's house back in the day, that was, was some good times and they used a selling point back in the day. Hey, remember those commercials where they had the SNES as light being put to the car of its value with four of the best Mario adventures and the new Super Mario World, five Great games with so much replay value. Yours in one convenient place. And that's a dramatization, of course. And especially it was a major selling point that was the first official release of the Lost Levels, as in the original Japanese Mario 2, who, as opposed to the one we actually got, which was based on the Japanese Doki Toki Panic, which didn't even get official release until it came out on the Wii Virtual Console, in the mid 2000s, as Doki Doki Magic. Heck, so. And I actually kind of like both of those ones for different reasons, like how, just how strange the, the Doki Doki Mario 2 was, like how, Japanese was, like how many of the changes were integrated back into the series. Many things like the Rutabagas being used weapons, being able to toss enemies at each other, which actually made reappearance in other games. games. It was also the first chance. We got to play as Toad as a platform, as well as as Peach or Toadstool. She was known in those days, man. Games and, but they lost levels. Also, we all treat as well, I man. Like it was basically at the time of his release, he's he's a sort of version of Marvel the Brothers Two that for those who had played, hey, the original game wanted more, so. You might say like both of them have different reasons, like how strange the the Doki Doki Mario 2 is and how how tough I mean the lost levels as can be. So even in days before all the leaderboards, I'm kind of fashion because even if it's tough, I just like the whole satisfaction to be like, yeah, I did this. And looking back, even though they pass on initially because of concerns of difficulty, in hindsight, I don't think it's any 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 tougher than stuff like Ninja Gaiden or Castlevania and other titles were in, in the norm in those days. So, 
The big one is coming up next, folks. And okay, they say the best has to be over last, and the rumors of this one were indeed true. Who? Starting on November and then on September 17th and September 18th, I'm so excited to speak, until this coming March in 2021, and three of the of Mario's best 3D adventures are available in one package edge in HD for new generation. Super Mario 3D All Stars, I mean, hers, I mean. I think they did a really good job with this, and despite the people just claiming, again, trying to use the same argument that they just put the same games on there, this is not even close to being accurate. It's quite the opposite, in fact. I mean, part of the reason this took such a long time and was because they wanted to make sure or the result was indeed good. I mean, it's actually amazing how not just the reputation of a game aim can help me so enjoy it, it's, but also oh, how how the series itself's reputation can impact it. Because even though, thankfully, like Tony Hawk's history, I mean, have gone over better than I was, I was expecting. And it really says something, something when Mario was able to convince me he of the of this in a fraction of the time the Hawk was trying to. Who I mean. And even if some people are allegedly he he bugging about Mario Galaxy two, who's not to say that hey that there'll be more in the future? I mean, in a sense, I've noticed I've been alive long enough to notice that Nintendo has a heavy underestimating demand and for sort of things. I mean, I realize this was Switch itself and the original Wii, and heck, even. Though I wasn't even alive I when the original NES games were first coming out. How the anecdotes as I've heard about the supply being outstripped by demand considerably definitely seems accurate to I me mean, to me. And as a toy making comparison, again reminder they used to be in that business primarily for and to an extent they still kind of are. That's why I think the Amiibo survived because of that title one game and they have that history behind them. And also, oh, but I'm getting off track here. I am definitely going to be giving this one priority, priority once, they, once they come out. I mean, I mean whether or not uh, that's going to be like a physical version, which obviously I'd be wanting to boost my collection. I like, like having things in my house that sometimes I can physically touch. Hold on a proxy feel how oh, in my experience and so it's definitely be worth having and not the only case of where I've gotten and titles that were at least at one time I'm limited to only one place or location or time I'm since like my catamaran on actually real I just got that on a whim when I was on vacation last year Good times. Way more stable than these are, but it was definitely the right time given how these will be coming out on September 18th and going until next March. About 30, almost 35 years to the day the original Mario Brothers was launched in 1985. So the timing was spot on, I'd say. Hey, I mean. If anyone has able to have a, like a Mario version of that Kissing Chef image macro, I'd love to see it. Anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Oh, I'll let me know what you think about these reveals, heels, and I will talk to you all later.